become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for special access to photos, articles, and rare to find books on old school bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today we continue with the Sergio Oliva Golden Era series, focusing on the blueprint to the myth and his incredible physique. Over the next three videos, we're going to focus on the three most important muscular groups for that wonderful V taper. And in particular with Sergio, the exercises he did to develop this wonderful V taper with today's focus specifically looking at his phenomenal shoulder development as shown here in this beautiful back double biceps shot. You can clearly see the um, development of the shoulders. Now, uh, I've read some articles from Charles Pollock and where several times he actually states that there are seven insertions in the um, deltoids alone with two being on the front delt, three on the side delt and two on the rear delt. And you can almost count every single insertion from these three sections of, of the deltoids in this phenomenal shot of of Sergio's back double biceps. The deltoids are thick, full like cannonballs. And as, as um, he states, he had mile wide delts. So let's have a look at his routine, his, his really interesting routine for developing mile wide delts for that phenomenal V taper. Now I've stated in my previous videos, um, the foundation of strength that Sergio developed was mainly through weightlifting and manual hard labor. And after he moved to the States, he started uh, PHA's training with Bob Guider, who basically introduced him to bodybuilding. But after his progress stalled, he looked to the golden era legends such as Dave Draper, Larry Scott, and um, Harold Poole. And here we have um, the perfect example to mold your deltoids from Larry Scott. He was well known for his cannonball delts. I mean, hell, he produced even a series of, of booklets, one which was called um, Cannonball Delts, and he's beautifully displaying them here. So he, he's obviously showing that classic V-tapered uh, physique that we all admire from the silver and golden era. And um, having learned from the champs, uh, Sergio started the, um, using the straight set system and developed his own methods of training. Now seeing that the focus of the next three videos is going to be Sergio's phenomenal V taper, this is a very early shot of, of Sergio, probably taken around 1963 or 1964. And you can see the wonderful effect of the width of the shoulder and how it tapers down to that waist. Now, Sergio is one of those lucky um, genetic freaks that was born with phenomenal muscle bellies. But not only that, to top it all off, he had a tiny waist, which we'll cover um, in, a, in another video. But when you are blessed with his genetics and are able to develop the, the muscular bellies as well as he did, you can clearly see the effect that the shoulders have on his V taper. It is very obvious you can draw a V on that phenomenal um, front double biceps that he's showing right there. It is beautiful, beautiful. Now here's another critique of that V taper. We can clearly see both now the front double biceps and back double biceps and the effect, especially on the back double bicep shot that the um, shoulders have. I mean, you can really see that the shoulders, when fully developed, I admit that Sergio's, uh, in this case, right arm isn't completely turned back, and so you can't really see his right shoulder properly, but you can see the effect that his um, left shoulder has. Um, he has such massive arms that if he had smaller delts, well, his arms would look too big, but everything flows beautifully, and of course, it tapers down to that tiny waist, giving that really beautiful effect. It's really impressive when you have well-developed shoulders um, tapering down to a tiny waist. It's very, very effective for, for showing off that wonderful V taper as Sergio does beautifully here in the AAU, I think it's the 1966 Mr. America competition, which he also lost incredibly. Now again, as be, uh, because we are focusing on the V taper of Sergio Oliva, I present these wonderful studio shots uh, taken by Jimmy Caruso, one of Wader's uh, best photographers at the time. We can see, for example, the effect of Sergio's fully developed um, uh, deltoids from the back, a back shot of his victory pose, which is very, very rare. I mean, we, if we start from the top, look at those forearms. I mean, they, they've got those slabs of meat coming off. Um, then you've got his well-developed arms. The triceps have this wonderful, wonderful line coming down towards his back. But then it just bursts in front of you. Those deltoids are just bursting out. They're beautifully, wonderfully, fully developed. 
and you can uh, really see the effect it has on that victory pose. For example, if we look at the other photo now, at that front lat spread, those deltoids just burst out, they just pop, it's just three dimensional, coming out from all angles, and therefore the pectorals don't look overdeveloped, and neither does the lats. I mean, it, it's all there, the, the, the arms, everything flows beautifully. Those deltoids are so well developed that it really starts off that wonderful V shape that Sergio is showing here in that lat front uh, front lat spread. It's, it's just a great photo of uh, a great fo great photo of Sergio Oliva. So how did Sergio Oliva develop his mile wide uh, shoulders? Well, here is his 1965 shoulders routine. Um, and it's a tricep, believe it or not, a tricep where he used the seated press behind the neck for 10 reps, followed by the standing lateral raise for 12 reps, followed by the forward lateral raise also for 12 reps. And we can clearly see the influence here of the Golden Era champs, especially with the seated press behind the neck, which was a staple for Golden and Silver Era legends. And this this sequence of exercises would perform, be performed one after the other and into a tricep for five tri-sets. Wow, four to five tri-sets. Otherwise known as the waiter flushing technique or principle. Here's a great shot also of Sergio taken by uh, Jimmy Caruso. We can really see the wonderful deltoids full, full, complementing the pectorals, complementing the arms and thick forearms, the abs, everything. Everything's there for Sergio. It's a beautiful shot from the, I think now, late 60s. He, has, he hasn't completely developed yet. Uh, this is the evolution of Sergio as we as we go through one video and the other the blueprint to the myth We see the effects that these exercises are having on his physique one by one I really like going through all these different routines and different stages of Sergio's career. It's been a real trip So we can clearly see the effects of Sergio's mile wide delts routine um, shortly after, a year later, having having incorporated this delts routine, you can see him here in the 1966 Mr. Olympia against Harold Poole, a pose down, and they're both in a relaxed shot. Although Sergio has huge traps, obviously from from, from his weightlifting past, his delts are so well developed that they complement his physique and give him that wonderful aesthetic look because he has that wonderful V taper. Again, the delts, um, wide lats down, down coming all the way down to a tiny, tiny waist, um, giving that beautiful V taper. And for those of you that didn't know, Sergio did compete in the 1966 Mr. Olympia right after he abandoned the AAU after so many disappointing losses. Um, of course, um, later in history, he was going to start winning his string of Olympias. But um, again, the focus of the next videos will be looking at Sergio's wonderful V taper, and we can already start seeing the development of his physique as it progresses through time. This is a great shot again of the 1966 Mr. Olympia of, with Sergio competing uh, for the first time in the Mr. Olympia in 1966. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Book room. Leave me a comment and thank you for watching. Are you enjoying the series of Sergio Oliva and do you like this new section on looking at his wonderful V taper and how he developed it? I hope you do. Uh, please donate if um, if it so fancies you uh, by donating to um, to my account at PayPal. The details are given in the description. Or become a Patreon uh, by uh, visiting www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm. This is the golden era bookworm. Bye for now.